everyone you are now watching youtube channel number 54 we are out here in the heart of the country baby we are now looking at gwalior fort which is situated in the city of gwalior in madhya pradesh this fort stands on the mountain called as gopachal there is not any hard evidence on when this fort was constructed but according to the inscriptions inside the fort which date back to 6th century we conclude that this fort may be constructed during those times the fort was ruled by many rulers of various dynasties who also built various temples and palaces inside the fort the gujri mahal is one of the two main palaces inside the fort second being the man mandir The Gujri Mahal was built by Raja Man Singh Tomar in 15th century for his queen Rigneyani. This is a love monument since Raja Man Singh fell in love with a girl of lower caste and named her Rigneyani because of her beautiful eyes. This monument is now converted into an archaeological museum. Raja Man Singh had eight queens but later he fell in love with a girl of Gujar caste. she demanded a separate palace for her with constant water supply from the river riya hence he created a palace for her in the year 1922 it was converted into a museum by the archaeological department and it now has various artifacts such as precious stones jewels weapons sculptures paintings inscriptions etc According to local legends this fort was built in the 3rd century by a local king called as Surat Sen a saint named Gwalipa came wandering inside the fort and met the king who was suffering from leprosy uh, he gave him water from a sacred pond and the king became healthy again the sacred pond is now called as Suraj Kund which is now located inside the fort premises So as a thankful gesture to the saint the king named the fort as Gwalior after the name of the saint Gwalipa the saint then gave the king the title of pal as in the protector and told him that as long as you hold the title you will hold the fort following this ATC successors of Surat Sen controlled the fort but the 84th successor Tej Karan did not bear the title and hence lost the fort As we proceed inside the fort we are taken into the Chaturbhuj temple which is built in the 876 AD This temple is dedicated to Lord Vishnu The inscription inside this sanctum consists of the figure of 0 in a numerical form which is the oldest existing 0 This inscription is around 1500 years old This is a Nagara style architecture and since this temple consists of the four armed Vishnu idol it is called as the Chaturbhuj temple 
this temple is very beautifully built with carvings of various gods and goddesses this temple was built by the gujara pratiharas as this fort is located on the top of a hill it is among the best fortresses in the country it is also considered as one of the most impenetrable forts because of its great architecture and rich past it is definitely a must visit attraction the fort is built on an area of 3 km and at the height of 35 feet This entire Gwalior fort is built out of sandstone and lime mortar. Now look at the history of the Gwalior Fort. The Telika Mandir, which is located inside the fort, was built by the Gurjara Pratiharas in the 9th century. The Kachhapa Ghatas controlled the fort in the 10th century and were the feudatories of the Chandelas. From 11th century onwards, the Muslim dynasties tried to attack the fort several times. In 1196 AD, Qutbuddin Aybak captured the fort and annexed it to the Delhi Sultanate. Though the Delhi Sultanate lost the fort, it was again recaptured by Iltutmish in 1232 AD. The Tomar Rajputs captured the fort in the 1398 AD. Man Singh Tomar was the most famous Tomar Rajput who built many monuments inside the fort. Sikandar Lodi tried to attack the fort but could not capture it in 1505. His son Ibrahim Lodi attacked the fort in 1516. In this attack, Man Singh Tomar was killed. Mughal Emperor Babur captured the fort but lost it to the Suris in 1542. Then again in 1558, Babur's grandson Akbar recaptured the fort and made it a prison. Akbar executed his cousin Kamran inside the fort. Aurangzeb also killed his brother Murad and his nephews here. After Aurangzeb, the Ranas of Gohar captured the fort in 1780. In 1755, the Maratha general Mahadaji Shinde captured the fort from the Rana of Gohar. They soon lost the fort to the British. In 1844 the fort was ruled by the Skindia family as a protectorate of the British government As you enter the Hathi Fort or Elephant Gate you will see the Man Mandir Palace which was built by the Raja Man Singh Tomar in the 15th century It had copper and gold decoration on the building but when the Muslims started ruling the fort they removed the copper and gold decoration and made it a prison As you reach on the top of the fort, you will see another archaeological museum. The sculptures displayed in this museum date from 1st century BC to 17th century AD and they are collected from Gwalior and other countryside.
Apart from the Man Mandir Palace and the Gujri Mahal, there are other palaces inside the fort, such as the Shah Jahan Palace, the Jahangir Palace, and the Karan Palace. There are two gates to enter the fort: one on the northeast side and another on the southwest side. The main entrance is the Elephant Gate or the Hathi Pole Gate, and the other is the Badalgarh Gate. Along with the Hindu temples, there are Jain temples as well inside the fort. This is another monument inside the fort called as the Asi Khamba Ki Bauri. 
This is basically a step well with 80 pillars in it. It was built by Raja Man Singh.
आता सहाचा शो असतो लाईट अँड साऊंड Watching. Please hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel.